When it's just you against the elements in a place as raw, let's say as, you know, Africa, those elements have not changed in the thousands of years of, you know, say evolution that we can look at. The, the same harsh climate, uh, the wild animals, the diseases, uh -huh. all of those are exactly the same. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> And now you're hurt also. Oh. <laughs> so when you go out there, yeah, you better believe you better get tough. I had an idea about ancestors, right? And I, I you know, what type of gain I wanted to make what is the scope, what is the format I would do, and then I actually attacked the subject matter, and we actually started to build it. And then another game arrives. Yeah. And I, and I tell myself and my team also, it's okay. It's okay. What oh we're... yeah, I say embrace that change, yes. because that's, that's how you do end up discovering something bigger and better. Yes, exactly. If you try to stay on the path that you were on, you miss everything else around. The beauty of game is all about the freedom of choices. And, and you have consequences about the choices the player will make. Right now, the way I see Ancestor is, is a, almost a story-telling machine. Every time you play, there's mm -hmm. a different adventure. And what would be the thing needed to be a good explorer? You have the curiosity. Yeah. You have to have a lot of drive. Uh, you have to be stubborn as hell yeah. because you can't give up. I have a lot of drive, you know, an immense passion for what I do. Uh, I nearly died on my first expedition, oh, yeah? but I kept going. I mean, it didn't okay. deter me, right? It did nothing but made me want to go out there more. And so, does it look like a jungle? Or? It very much does. I mean, the, the amount of detail is so real that it's incredible. When I'm out there in the jungles, sometimes you can't get this close. So this, oh, yeah. in a weird sense, brings you closer than maybe I could ever get. Yeah. It's like a team of scientists really designed it. It's engineers, animators, designers, it's artists who actually did that. Well, they paid a close attention in science class. There is still so much out there that has not been explored, things that we don't know. I mean, discoveries being made all the time. I, okay. I happen to co-discover the world's smallest primate in Madagascar. Oh yeah? You know, there's still all of these pockets. Um, and I think that is the, the, the driving force behind, you know, w what's, what's beyond those trees? Uh -huh. What's beyond the horizon? Release when you think it's, oh. I was bonding. Oh, you were? <laughs> what I do? But you, you released did I take it. On or no, what? no, you did the good, the, yeah? a good groom. Oh, good. <laughs> See? I'm good at grooming. Uh, <laughs> as an explorer, somebody who's trying to push the boundaries, I'm sure you have some fears. So, how do you actually overcome those, those, those fears? It can't be panic or you're going to make all the wrong decisions. Okay. If you allow the fear to carry, you, you, everything starts to feel overwhelming and scary, and then you can't make good decisions, and well, you, you die. Oh, Whoa. come on! You didn't hold it. Ah! No! Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> it's amazing, though. But look, I'm still going. <laughs> yeah, you're still going. I'm limping, I'm running away. What yeah. is all that stuff? <laughs> oh, no, no, because you're getting into, oh, what no! is this? Come oh, on! No, no. <laughs> What, what is the, the famous saying, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway. Yeah. That's kind of how I live my life. There's, there's an innate risk when you're exploring, and I think that there, it's calculated risk, okay, and yeah. I know that I'm entering situations that are, you know, dangerous and potentially deadly. You were in the easy level, and then you put me in the advanced level. I see what you're doing here. And then the rest, yeah, comes from experience, and that's the yeah. best teacher of all. Yes. No, I mean, the game is, is mind-blowing. You know, I suddenly found myself really trying to survive, you know, which is something that I do for a living, but all of a sudden I'm on a couch sitting with a game controller and the same 
instincts are kicking in to stay alive. So it was, it was very cool. I could see where I will never explore a real jungle again because I'm just gonna be on <laughs> oh, my yeah? couch with the controller. <laughs> <laughs>